Hey guys, it's story time again. I'm going to read to you from a new book today. It's called Marvel Avengers Storybook Collection. And the first story will be... Let me get to it, sorry. Hulk Smash. Hulk is one of Earth's mightiest heroes. No one could deny his incredible strength or, su or size. Whether fighting alone or side by side with the Avengers, he can take down almost any villain. Even villains as huge as he is are no problem. But before he can, before he became the Incredible Hulk, he was just a man named Bruce Wayne. Bruce Banner, sorry. There he is. Hitting the ground and finding enemies his own size. Bruce is a brilliant scientist. Before he became Hulk, he spent his time studying a special kind of energy called gamma radiation. Bruce knew the gamma rays were dangerous, but he wanted to show the world that they could be used for good. Bruce decided that the best way to test the gamma rays was to power Gamma Ray's power was to set up an explosion. Then he could measure the radiation they gave off. Bruce carefully set up a testing site in the middle of the desert. He knew he needed to do his test in an empty place so no one would get hurt. But something terrible happened. A young boy wandered right into the testing area. Jumping into his, jumping into his car, Bruce raced to, off to save the boy. There's Bruce Banner in his lab, and there he is in the desert, chasing after the boy to get him out of the danger zone. Bruce arrived at the test site with only moments to spare. He grabbed the boy and threw him into a nearby bomb shelter, but Bruce was not so lucky. Before he could get himself to safety, his device exploded. Bruce woke up in an army hospital. Army had found him in the desert. They were worried about him. Bruce looked at himself in the mirror. He didn't feel sick, but he did feel different. There he is, throwing the boy into the bomb shelter as the bomb goes off. And there he is, looking in the mirror, trying to figure out why he feels different. Looks like he's sweating a lot. Suddenly, Bruce felt something strange. His head hurt, and he let out a loud cry. Bruce looked down in shock. His skin was starting to turn green. His hands expanded and his muscles grew until he was four times his normal size. Bruce knew the radiation from the blast was to blame, but he was powerless to stop the change that had come over him. In a fit of anger, Bruce smashed through the brick wall of the hospital and escaped. Some nearby soldiers saw him and yelled into their radios, Look out for a green monster! A Goliath! A Hulk! And there's Bruce, changing into the Incredible Hulk for the first time. All Hulk wanted to be, or what uh, wanted was to be left alone. He did not want to hurt anyone, but the army could not let the mysterious monster escape. A tank full of soldiers chased after him. The soldiers surrounded Hulk. As the tank fired at Hulk, a rush of rage came over the green beast, and he clenched his fist and roared, Hulk smash! Hulk easily lifted the large tank and threw it across the field. Then, before the fighting could start again, he le leaped away. He did not want to fight. Hulk ran into the soldiers, er, ran until the soldiers were out of sight. When he was safely away, he tried to calm down. As his anger eased, he felt his body begin to change again. He became smaller, and the green left his skin. Soon, he was Bruce Banner once more. And there he is, as the Hulk, throwing a tank full of soldiers because they wouldn't leave him alone. Bruce wanted to see, keep the truth about the Hulk a secret. He hoped he would never become Hulk again. But Hulk was not gone. Every time Bruce felt angry or frustrated, he transformed into Hulk. Bruce tried to calm or remain calm at all times. But when he saw supervillains hurting innocent people, he could not stay calm. 
He wanted to defend the helpless. So did Hulk. The problem was, people were scared of Hulk. They pointed and called him a monster. This made Hulk mad, or sad. He thought that if he kept helping people, maybe they would realize he was friendly. But no matter how hard he tried, people still ran from him. There is the Hulk fighting against supervillains. There he is feeling sad because the people won't accept him. Slowly Bruce realized that people who judged Hulk on his appearance were wrong. Hulk knew that he could do great things for others. He could fight for those in trouble and save people from danger. The Green Goliath was very powerful and he wanted to use that power for good. No matter how big or small the problem, Hulk was there to save the day. Hulk was a big hero with a big heart. The more good he did, the more people came to love him. There he is, saving people from a truck that almost ran them over. And there he is, putting a little, getting a little kitten out of a tree for that little girl. She looks happy, doesn't she? But there are times when a threat is too big for any he one hero to handle. So the Hulk became part of the mighty team of Avengers. Now he stands proudly among Captain America, Iron Man, Thor, Falcon, Black Widow, and Hawkeye. Together, Hulk and the Avengers fight for the good of the world, just like Bruce Banner always wanted. And there he is, standing next to all the others, the Avengers, to defend the world from any great evil that even someone as strong as the Hulk can't defeat on their own. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it. Be good. Always be kind, and I'll see you next time.